Hey, strap in. Edition 6 of your weekly space briefing is packed. In this edition, Blue Origin hits a home run. A concerning issue with space debris aboard the Chinese space station Tiangong. The James Webb Telescope mapped an exoplanet 400 light years away. An acknowledgement to one of the small steps of the 1960s Apollo program. Let's go. Blue Origin has successfully launched and more importantly landed the first stage of its massive New Glenn rocket for the first time. The second flight of the 321 foot tall rocket, named after astronaut John Glenn, lifted off from Cape Canaveral November 13th, carrying two NASA satellites on a mission to Mars. After a clean separation, the reusable first stage booster made a flawless on-target touchdown on a seafaring barge named Jacqueline in the Atlantic Ocean. This success is a major milestone for Blue Origin, proving its ability to recover and reuse rockets to drive down costs. A key objective in competing with rivals like SpaceX, the mission called Escapade will see the twin blue and gold satellites study the red planet's atmosphere and magnetosphere. Three Chinese astronauts on the Shenzhou 20 mission found their return to Earth delayed for over a week after their spacecraft was apparently struck by space debris. The crew, who launched in April for a six-month stay, were set to return earlier this month, but a suspected impact to the return capsule's window prompted China's space agency to initiate emergency assessments. The three Taikonauts are in good condition and have since returned safely aboard the Shenzhou 21 spacecraft, the vehicle that brought their replacement crew to the Tiangong space station. The Shenzhou 20 spacecraft remains in orbit for now and will be assessed further. The incident highlights the increasing threat that thousands of pieces of high-velocity space junk pose to an orbital infrastructure and human spaceflight. Europe's aerospace giants Airbus, Thales, and Leonardo have signed a Memorandum of Understanding to merge their space businesses into a single unnamed company. The new entity will combine the company's satellite manufacturing and service activities, but notably excludes rocket launch operations. The companies are optimistic the merger will drive innovation and efficiency in Europe's previously fragmented space industry. The James Webb Space Telescope has created the first ever three-dimensional atmospheric map of exoplanet WASP-18b, an ultra-hot Jupiter 400 light-years away, revealing extreme temperature variations and unusual atmospheric chemistry. Using 3D eclipse mapping, scientists found a blazing hotspot, suggesting powerful magnetic fields might be forcing pole-to-pole winds on the tidally locked gas giant, which orbits its star in just 23 hours. Traces of water vapor were surprisingly detected in cooler regions despite the main hotspot being hot enough to destroy water molecules. On November 9, 1967, NASA made a giant leap toward the moon with the launch of Apollo 4, an uncrewed but pivotal mission marking the first flight of the colossal Saturn V rocket. The mission was an all-up test, meaning all three stages of the powerful rocket were fully functional on its maiden voyage, a gutsy move that dramatically streamlined the Apollo program's timeline. And that's it for this edition of your weekly space briefing. Until next time, keep your tether tight and your eyes on the horizon. Commander Cooper, out.